Hi everyone, it's Lynn. So today we're going to make these beautiful wispy flowers using breath and alcohol ink. So first I just use the breath uh, with, it's th three to one, uh, breath with um, alcohol and just put a drop or two down and use the bulb blower and blow it out. So um, I just kind of go in a circle. I don't don't put the petals on top of each other. I, I wait till they dry just a little bit and kind of overlap them and um, just blow them out. So there you can see I'm starting the next layer and kind of, I don't know what do you call it, every other petal going over them so that it, it starts a new, a new layer. And I'll do this and go around maybe two or three times until I get the thickness that I like and the depth that I like. As you, you can see, as the breath starts to dry, you can really see all the layers and all the different wispy, delicate, um, petals forming here. Okay, so I, I'm thinking that this is just about the way I like it. And I'm going to turn it different ways and see which way I'm going to place the picture. And I, I decided here that I think I need a second flower. So I'm putting in some petals up here. And I'm going to make a smaller flower this time. So I'm not going to go all the way in a circle. I'm just going to do a small flower. Okay, so I think that's all I need as far as the breath at this point. Um, if you just take the blow dryer on low, uh, you can see how wet it still was after all that time. So I'm drying it just a little bit with the blow dryer to make sure that I see all the petals and, and it's the way um, I want it to be. And if you think it needs a few more layers, go for it. Here I decided to put another layer. <laughs> okay. So now it's time to start adding some color. So I'm going to take the breath again drop a few drops and now a little drop of limeade, Ranger limeade, and uh, blow that out. And I will do the same thing as I did with the white at the beginning. I'll just uh, go around in circles and kind of um, separate the petals as I go around. And um, I don't blow it all the way to the edge because I want to see some of those white petals still showing in the background. But um, I'll just go around and blow petal, petal for petal until I get it the way I want it to look.
-hmm. Okay, so I think that is probably enough. Now I'll blow it with the blow dryer just a little bit to make sure that it is all dry and I can see all the different layers that I've built up now. Oh, pretty. Okay, I think that's it. Now I'm going to add some embellishments. I've got a 7 millimeter uh, Posca pen. First I'm going to clean up this one little spot with alcohol. That's the nice thing about this Nara paper is you can pretty much just wipe off um, anything, any mistakes you make, you just wipe it off. Decide you don't like a flower, wipe it off, start all over again. It's really great for that. It doesn't stain. Okay, so now I'll take the white Posca pen and just draw in some details. So what I'm going to do is look at the edges of the petals and try and figure out where I would like a little hard edge so you can just detail it and you can do anything you like. I kind of like to do these little squiggly lines and come just on beyond the, the painting. Sometimes I don't go beyond the petal and I just keep them small inside like the one I'm doing up here at the top. But um, I'm, I've been kind of enjoying letting them come off the petal and kind of extending the length, the size of the flower that way. And you can do any kind of embellishment that you like, any kind of doodles um, or none. So then I put um, just some little detail in the center. The little stamens and the little spots that go with them. It's kind of fun just kind of trying to figure out exactly how this flower is going to come, in, come out in the end. So now I think it needs stems. I didn't think it was going to, but I think it does. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of the breath in a little plastic cup and add a drop of the limeade and just um, paint the, mix them up and paint the stems with my paintbrush. And then with that same mixture, I'm just going to splatter a little bit just to give it um, that movement. So I don't think that's quite enough. Um, so I'm going to use some snow cap, which is a ranger, um, more pigmented um, alcohol ink, and just a little bit of alcohol mixed with it. And I'm going to just splatter some of that to just give it some more oomph in the background.
Yeah, I like that. I think that's about finished. Don't forget to sign your work. Now, what I did do after I finished this tutorial was I went in and put a few more embellishments um, in the center. But you can see as you turn the page, you can see all the different beautiful layers, the little spots, how they, they just kind of add to the detail and the texture of the painting. So um, here you'll see, I, you can see that I added a few little details to the background of the center. But I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you'll um, try and put together your own beautiful wispy flower. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.